How's it going guys? My name is John McLennan and I'm here in my studio today in Los Angeles, California and I'm really excited to bring you this video for Providence Effects and I just got in from them the Chrono Delay. It's an amazing guitar pedal and I want to show you kind of how to use it, get a certain effect. Today we're looking at a slapback uh, rockabilly echo and then I'm also going to teach you this classic Johnny Cash song so you can practice that along with your rockabilly tones. So uh, I'm going to pull up here a picture of basically the the knobs and the settings that I have dialed in to get this sound. So if we start at the top we have the mix knob and that's set at about 50 percent. What the mix knob does is it blends the sound of the delay with also your direct guitar signal. So, uh, you know, I like it right at about 50 for this. The next knob is echo hardness. And the more that we push this knob forward, uh, the more you're kind of accentuating high and mid frequencies in the delay, and it, it really just pushes it forward uh, more in your face. And then as you turn it back, it ducks it ducks it back a little bit. I like it at about 60%. You can experiment with this. For this sound, I don't want it quite like right up there, but I, I do want to hear it as well, you know, pretty prevalent. So the next knob is the feedback knob, and that's set to zero. That's going to give me, uh, you know, one, one delay. I don't want a ton of delays, especially if I'm playing a rhythm part. I just want the feedback set low. And then uh, one of the most important elements is if you look at the toggle uh, switch, I have it not set to BPM. The chrono delay has a great feature where you can see an LED of the BPM, which is really important. I think nowadays, you know, even more than it used to be with Pro Tools recordings and, you know, modern guitar is expected to, you know, be able to have the timing and everything be you know, so precise. So that helps really dial in the BPM. Now for this setting, I'm not using the BPM switch. I'm, I'm, it's pushed down and I'm in the milliseconds. So anywhere between about 80 and 140 milliseconds is going to get you in the ballpark for, you know, a rockabilly slapback delay. So I, I have it set here at 115. I think that sounds really great for what I'm playing right now. And then as I use this, I'm sort of ignoring the uh, beat split knob because I'm thinking in terms of like milliseconds and not trying to find that specific rhythm. So again, there's so many things you can do with this pedal, but this is just one way to get started here with a slapback delay. So what I played at the intro was basically, uh, you know, the second fret here on the fifth string. I'm going to play that note three times. <laughs> Then I move up to my first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, play that twice. Back to the original note. Fourth string. Then I jump down to the, the low sixth string and I bend here on the second fret. And then I go to an E chord. Now, one of the classic Carl Perkins tones, and I just uh, did a gig. I had to fly to Montana and learn 43 Johnny Cash songs. And, uh, you know, so I really spent some time with, with trying to work out the slapback delay. And, and one, of, one of the techniques you can do here is called boom chick, you know. And so what that is is I'm really palm muting where I lay my palm back here. And I get this sort of... <laughs> you know, a uh, really muted chord. And, and then I'm alternating the bass notes from the sixth string to the fifth string, like this. And that's where you get that boom chick, boom chick. You know, you hear this in, in all kinds of country playing and Merle Travis. But uh, yeah, so let's try the whole riff together. One, two, three. <laughs> Be sure to check out the more info below for where to get the tab for this and check out the chrono delay pedal from Providence. It's amazing. We'll see you next time.